snow, snow, snow. We're always looking for snow. As snowmobilers, we pray for snow constantly from November right through to April. It's an addiction for us. And because of that addiction, we're willing to drive through blizzards and black ice to get there. But as the saying goes, stuff happens. And when it does, you've got to be prepared for it. During the winter time, it's absolutely imperative to be carrying a proper toolkit, to have things like the jack, spare tire, toe strap, first aid kit, flares. There's some things you, you wouldn't think of necessarily carrying that are a really good idea to have, like a torch, Dunthaw locks to help if you've got a stubborn bolt that you've got to get out. In the winter time, visibility is a huge issue. So you got to make sure that you've got proper wiper blades, washer fluid, your lighting is the best it can be, and the trailer is absolutely as important as the truck. In wintertime towing, you never know what you're going to run into. You can run into all sorts of different problems that you think you're prepared for, but there's always the odd one that just creeps up on you. You should have your uh, snowmobiling gear accessible while you're in the truck because if you, you know, there's no point in having to go and rummage through the trailer trying to put your gear on if it's minus 30 outside and you, you know, you've ditched the truck or something. Other preparation, it's important to have things like water and food if you get stranded because it's not impossible and if you're driving up in the far north, you could be there for a day or two. Things that can creep up on you are things like black ice, just a total change in traction without even realizing it's starting to happen. And you can recognize this by keeping an eye, like being fo totally focused on watching what the truck is doing, watching your mirrors, looking for spray off the tires. Just concentrate on what's going on. The spray coming off the tires is a great indicator of whether the, the pavement is wet or it's icy. Okay, if there's no spray coming off, chances are you're on black ice. Because if you have to stop, you can't always be depending on ABS. Road conditions should never keep anybody from going snowmobiling. Snowmobiling is too enjoyable to, to sit at home and say, well, geez, maybe I should have gone driving. But with the right precautions and preparations, you can get there safely and enjoy the sport. Hey, I know you've heard all this before, and I bet you it's gone in one ear and out the other. And by having all this with you, when stuff does finally happen, at least you'll be prepared.